This is Nina here with Heroes Martin Homeschool Academy. In today's lesson, we're going to compare numbers using money. Are you excited? I am too. Let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. And on to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, if you have a Godly Learners, Great K Mathematics Workbook. You may pull that out at this time. Flip it over to page Roman number four, where there is the morality creed we're going to recite. And um, some of you may have committed it to memory by now, which is awesome. I still read it <laughs> from the paper. Okay, so here we go. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master boss and savior. I love God. I love myself and others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights and wrongs. I look to the spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, welcome to class. So good to have you. We are in week 34. We're just moving right along, you know. We like to do those things here here in Smart. We just keep things moving. We're on page 174. If you're following along in the workbook, that's 174, the fourth day of the 34th week. So here's our counting board, our money board. We have money on either end of the board and we want to determine which side is greatest. Now, this is my first time introducing this bill. Have you seen it before? Maybe. The face there is Alexander Hamilton. Can you see his face? Okay, he's on the ten dollar bill, and um, I, I, have, I haven't really talked very much about the ten dollar bill and all the different parts of it. Um, but I just wanted to use it because I want to compare it to two five dollar bills, which you know about five dollar bills. We talked about the five dollar bill in the past as President Abraham Lincoln, and um, we've explored the five dollar bill um, once or twice before. The $10 bill has a value of $10. It's similar. It's as though I um, have 10 $1 bills. So 10 $1 bills equal to one $10 bill. That's why there's a 10, because it represents 10. Very much like the dime and the penny. You have the penny, which is one cent, and you have the dime, which is 10 cents. One penny, um, one dime would be equivalent to 10 pennies. Same, same concept. And so my question today is by looking at it initially, what side do you think has the most money? This side or this side? Well, if you said they're even, they're equal, then you're correct. Let's find out why. So this is $10. Let's write that down. So the first part is $10. That's the dollar part. And if you're counting the coins, that's 25 and a penny, which is 26. So this is $10 and 26 cents. Now on this side, we have two $5 bills and we would count by five. So we have five, 10, that would be $10 too. And then counting the coins here, we have two dimes, a nickel and a penny. Are you ready? Here we go. 10, 20, 25, 26. $10 and 26 cents. Oh, look at there. The two sides are even. They're equal, which means both this side and this side have the same amount of money. And um, so there are times where you will see that how different combinations of money can equal the same amount. And that's always nice as well. Well, boys and girls, that's all I have for you today. Um, thank you for coming to class. Until next time, Jesus loves you. We love you. God bless.
I'll be your hero's body And as you study with heroes born I will be your friend